car. There's no camera, no laser, nothing. It's all our talk car talking to their car via short range radio, DSRC, and um, Wi Fi and GPS. So that's all, that's how they're communicating. Um, and they're basically sending out a signal as far as your position, your heading, your speed, you know, am I going to hit you or not, basically, you know. Okay. So, um, so, this car has haptic seats, you're going to feel them vibrate, um, yours as well, in production obviously just be me, but uh, we have a heads up display here, 18, 18 LED, and then we have some dots in the mirrors, um, which they are actually all in production currently using radar for uh, some crash avoidance systems. But in the in the uh, intersection exercise we're going to do, it becomes a directional sweeping motion. So, um, so let's uh, do start with blind spot. Which some of these exercises, you know, they're already on the market as far as uh, through radar or camera or such. But we're just trying to show you we can do all that stuff plus more. You know, with one system. So first thing we're going to do is the blind spot. I'm just going to take off slowly down here. She's going to ride in my blind spot. I'll get an advisory dot in the mirror, just letting me know she's there. And then I'll put my turn signal on as a, and then the warning begins, you know, and then you're going to hear a audible and the vibration. Okay, so she's coming up into the blind spot. There we go, we got the dot. Okay, so now I'll put my turn signal on as if I was actually going to move over. Now I get the warning phase. So notice it's your right side because she's on the right side. Now that has to be activated with the turn signal, the warning, but they could actually also even do that through steering angle, you know, activate the warning if they wanted. So an extension that V to V shines in is the lane change warning. So I'm gonna be heading down here. Imagine we're actually doing like 60 or so down the highway put on my turn signal to move over, but I don't see her coming up at a very high rate of speed. By the time I move over, she would be there. So it's like a predictive blind spot. So as she comes into the threat area, we'll get the warning and then she'll pass us and then the warning goes off and I can move over. Okay, just put my turn signal on as if I'm getting ready to veer over. Here she comes. warning will now stop because she's biased so now I can safely move over so into the next uh, scenario is called emergency electronic brake lights this uh, this system has about a 300 meter range with obstructions included so <clears throat> this first car is going to take off far down the, the road here and imagine we have more than one car in between us we could have you know, five cars in between us uh, what counts as her car because she becomes a threat when she hits the brakes So she's gonna come to a sudden stop up ahead and then I'll get the warning You'll notice it'll go off just about instantaneously as her brake lights go off. Okay um, You're going to only have a visual and an audio here because this isn't like a, a very severe threat. It's just a you know a, a Advisory that something stopped up ahead. So you're not relying on the domino effect of uh, brake lights. Go ahead. And he'll kind of cheat to the right a little bit so you can see her brake lights up there. She'll break up now. So, see, so I have plenty of time to react. If we were closer to her, we would get what's called a forward collision warning, which we're going to do next because that's more of an imminent danger because we actually have to take action. So in this case, we're gonna have uh, the, they call it slow moving forward collision. I'm gonna let her take off, get up to like say 15 miles an hour, and we're gonna accelerate at her. And uh, the faster I would go towards her, the earlier I'll get the warning. Keep in mind too, this doesn't have to be a straight path. It could be a curve or hill, because there is path memory and prediction as well. So we'll let her get out of here. We'll have to brake a little bit hard for this, so just be ready. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So now.
now we're going to do uh, extension of that where again V2V is one of the only systems really can do it and shines is we're going to add a visual blocker again so the the Taurus is going to go down there and park in our lane in front of us and the edge is going to drive about one car length in front of me so we're going to follow pretty closely and again whether that car is equipped and actually sending a signal doesn't matter he's purely a visual blocker at this point so at the last moment he's going to swerve without braking so I have no idea that something's wrong okay ready and then um, just before he swerves though we should begin getting the, the uh, warning so I have a little extra time go ahead to start braking Now that's something like a radar camera couldn't do because it can't see through him and it, it can't react as quick enough. <laughs> a lot of people say that. <laughs> so what you just saw and then what we're going to do now are where you know this system has some big big selling points. Um, you know, again, we can look through buildings, we can look through obstacles, you know, whereas a camera or whatever could not. So we have a, a mock intersection here, we have a stop sign. Pretend we're trying to cross over the street here. She's gonna go by in front Ready. of us. Um, and I'm trying to creep out to see. So I'm gonna begin to go and then hit the brakes as she goes in front of us. You're gonna notice now your right leg vibrates as well as you get the, the signal up here, the LED screen becomes directional to going from the right to the left. Go ahead. And go. Okay. So now we're going to get a little more thrilling. We're going to pretend we have a green light and she has a red light. So same warning, same scenario, but now we're at, we're at speed. So imagine we have buildings here, you know, we have a green light, why not go through it? You know, we have the right of way, but she's not gonna stop and she's gonna go through the red light. <coughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. So that's the second deadliest crash in America. I'm head on collisions. So and right now that's the only this, the V2V is the only system that can do that. So those are the uh, scenarios we're showing off today. You can, you can do more, you know, they, I did all the driving, uh, there's no active braking or anything, um, but uh, ta-da.